So uh, the first speaker of today is Tomu Yokoyama, who will be speaking to us about a generalization of Morse graphs of flows and Reeb graphs of services and Hamiltonian flows. Thank you for introduction and so give me opportunity to speak here. So today I'm talking about the topological invariant, which is a generalization of Morse graph of flow and Leib graph of Hamiltonian flow and the CW decomposition of Morse flows. So these most graph and wave graph and very fundamental notion. You know, wave graph can be obtained from height functions. So if you have height functions, so you can reduce it into wave graph and wave graph can be reduced into barcode. Barcode is it's a very important object in topological data analysis. And also this function reduces in lab graph and also reduces in barcode. Second, so most graph is a so one 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 fundamental so topological invariant of dynamical systems. I explain so how to so combat the flow to sorry flow to most graph later but now i can say that the, these three so dynamical system can so can be converted into these three graph and moreover so cw decomposition is a so fundamental concept in topological space and it's ba very basic structure and some kind of flow has CW complex structure. And so for instance, most flow has like this CW structure and also this also has this CW structure. In this talk, so we introduce topological invariant generalization of so those three concepts. To using the analyzing the topological data and dynamical system. So next, we introduce some motivation why we introduce new topological invariant. So first motivation is the trivialty of most graph of recurrent dynamics. Most graph is a constructed based on the Conrad theory. Conrad theory says that any flow on compact metric space can be decomposed into so block, so which is each of which is a chain recurrent, so it's kind of recurrence and gradient like. For instance, if you have this gradient flow, this so we have two recurrent components. This component corresponds to the vertices and Gradient like component correspond to H. So, so next example is also this periodic orbit correspond to this vertex. And so, so this is a torus. Therefore, there is, so this is a closed periodic annulus. So this correspond to this vertices. And this H correspond to this connection of this. And also this corresponds to this one. In this way, most graph can capture the hyperbolic dynamics. On the other hand, there's some weak point. The weak point is the trivialty of the most graph. For instance, if we consider such kind of recurrent flows, so if we consider so recurrent flow, the most graph becomes singleton like this. This means that most graphs can't capture the recurrent behavior. Therefore, we'd like to construct the new invariant which can capture hyperbolic 
dynamics and recurrent dynamics. So today we introduced this invariant. Later we so explain the definition, but if we use this abstract weak orbit space, so we can capture the two-dimensional Hamiltonian flow and the shoot arms of homeomorphism, chaotic flow in the sense of the Duveni and the, the uh, volume presiding flow. So second motivation is a detecting problem. So we'd like to detect original flow from time and map. If we consider, uh, if we deal with a real data, so sometimes we deal with some fluid phenomena or some flow data, but sometimes we can get only discrete data, for instance, time and map like this. But we'd like to know original phenomena and original flow data. So, so we'd like to ask when we can reconstruct from time and map to the original flow. So this is second motivation. So in other words, so when do the time and map of the flow has the all topological information of the orbit space? Orbit space is a kind of topological information flow. Orbit space is a quotient space corresponding the orbit into the singleton. For instance, if you have just a rotation, the rotation, so it corresponds to orbit into singleton. So you can get like this space. So this is a closed interval. Similarly, if you have the, some twisting, twisting disk, this also so implies that orbit space is interval. Moreover, if we have the gradient flow. So gradient flow reduced into so circle with two points. So circle correspond to this green region and the blue one correspond to this, red one correspond to this. In this way, so, so we'd like to construct so from bottom to top and bottom to top. But in general, so time map has no full information of original data. Because if, so take a time map, it's just a pile rotation. So it has almost no information. Therefore orbit space is just a, like a disk, but this original flow has, has the, orbit space is integral. So therefore, in general, we can get, we can recover from time and map. Therefore, we consider more weak problem, a weak requirement. So weak requirement can be represented in this way. So when there's some, so certain, certain, so quotient space of flow and time and map coincide with each other. It means uh, some we'd like to have some equivalent relation. So that we uh, we have uh, we introduce a partial answer of this problem. That. The abstract weak orbit space is the so good, is a good candidate of the uh, this answer. And also we review about the lab graph of the function. You know, lab graphs can be reduced into function to lab graph, and the abstract orbit structure can be represented by Hess diagram in this way. So if we consider this is a so poset, 
On the other hand, Hamiltonian dynamical system can be so identified with a height function because if so height function is considered as a Hamiltonian function. Hamiltonian function, the Hamiltonian flow has the same information in two dimensional case. Therefore, so topological data analysis of height function on the so analysis of the Hamiltonian flow is as almost similar so analysis. And the orbit space so can be reduced into the Lave graph and the abstract orbit space is this. So later I explain this can reconstruct this Hamiltonian flow. And I introduce some existing topological invariant of flow. So Conrad Moss graph is a one of the important topological invariant. So most uh, Conrad most graph is a so most graph is Conrad index. It that graph is implemented and widely used. So so this is implemented by the so Misako for so Kokubu or some kind of people and it right but this invariant can capture only hyperbolic dynamics. On the other hand, so there is a Hamiltonian and recurrent and divergence dynamics. We'd like to capture this information. So, so therefore we introduce this topological invariant. So now, I explain the detail of the new invariant. In this talk, flow means that R action of topological space and B is the flow on the topological space. The so single point is, uh, if the orbit is singleton, then the orbit is called the sing uh, singular point. So periodic orbit is a circle. These Orbit is also called the closed orbit. And omega limit set is a kind of forward limit set. If you take a, this point and this spiraling this and so positive, positive limit set is this one. So omega limit set is this. And if you take this point, this also spiraling in this way. And this figure eight is a omega limit set of it. And omega limit set can be, be become the torus and the suspension control set. And also recurrent point is a point, so go back arbitrarily near itself. Therefore, singular point and the periodic orbit are recurrent. So like this point uh, non-recurrent because it's go to some single point and never return. So this also never return and never return. So in this way, we define the single point and periodic orbit and closed orbit. So closed orbit is a single periodic. And recurrent is a, so orbit go back, uh, contains the alpha limit set omega limit set. Alpha limit is a reverse of the time. So it means that the point so returns so po uh, positively or negatively. In this way, we can decompose topological space into four components. Using this decomposition, we can define the abstract weak orbit. If X is a singular, the abstract weak orbit is a connected component singular point set containing X. If X is a periodic, it corresponds to the connected component of this. And if X is a 
non-recurrent, non-recurrent is like this, so it never return case. And so positive limit, uh, negative limit and positive limit uh, correspond to the dots of X. And non cross recurrent orbit is kind, so like uh, this or this. In that case, the uh, uh, this com this defined by this. So, so I explain using example. This is a total flow and recurrent orbit. Therefore, most graph is a singleton. On the other hand, the abstract orbit space is a like this four points. So this four points is a homotopy, a uh, weakly homotopy equivalent to the circle because this periodic orbit correspond to this and this close the periodic annulus correspond to this and this so u1 so come from gamma 2 and so go to the gamma 1 so therefore u1 come from gamma 2 and gamma 1 and u2 come from so red to um, two in this way. So therefore, we can reduce into this graph. And also we can, so this flow can be reduced into this one. So, and also if we consider only two dimensional generic Hamiltonian flow, we can reconstruct from this space. For instance, this corresponds to this point, and this corresponds to so this one. Uh, this alpha means that come from this and omega go to this and also this correspond to this. And this correspond to, so A2 correspond to these periodic annuals and this course, this course, A3 correspond to these periodic annuals. And so this green point, correspond to this. So in this way, we can reconstruct this wall. But so we need, so to reconstruct, we need some additional information. So transverse information and so positive uh, negative information, positive information. Therefore, we define some order and relation for abstract orbit space. So we define these three orders. So if you take the X, the abstract orbit correspond to this gray region. So this X go to spiraling L and therefore this bigger than this one. So X come from alpha, therefore, so we define this relation and so transverse relation correspond to this one. is between the T2 and T1, so therefore we define this transpass order. In this way, we can construct the new topological invariant. In particular, this is a, so most graph is a quotient space of abstract weak orbit space and lay graph of Hamiltonian flow on compact surface is a quotient space of abstract orbit space. 
So second theorem says a two-dimensional case. So height function of the red graph is a quotient space of this topological invariant. This means that this topological invariant is a more final, has final information of red graph of the height function. Oh, so uh, sorry. Uh, so maybe so. So now is the time that so I have to have to rush up and so. So, in this way, detecting problems. So, so after after a small parameterization, so we can reconstruct the so from orbit space to the time map in Hamiltonian case, and also most most flow case. So. They have same information. So, so in this way, so we can so reduce in this way. So summary, so so we construct topological invariant with the generalization of these three ones. So, so now is time. So I stop here. So thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Please unmute yourselves and applaud the speaker. Do you have any questions for Tomu? Tomu, I, I had a question. I was wondering if you could explain on one of the earlier slides, like slide five or six, why the, um, I think it was mm -hmm. the Morse graph on many of those examples was just a singleton. Singleton, uh, yes, this one? Yeah. Yes, so because uh, Morse graph Correspond to so recurrent component into one point. Uh -huh. So therefore, so recurrent. Uh -huh. If you have the recurrent dynamics, so it's just a one vertices only. So, so if you go back a slide, what's the difference between the prior slide? Oh, I see the prior slide. The two flows are both going in towards the center, yes, and then but, here they're going. But uh, I have the definition of the. Morse graph, uh, but uh, in some right. additional slide, but uh, also sorry. Yeah, uh, I see. It's very, it's very much non-gradient. Like, yeah, it's the recurrent part. It's, it's going around in, in a circle, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Um. So, actually, so Morse graph can capture the, like this hyperbolic so systems. So, and, yeah. It's widely used as so many applications. So, so it's so implementation is a uh, yes. It's it's based on the chomp. It's uh you know so chomp so uh, software yeah it's, yeah. So it's a based on chomp. So so one of the uh so, so professor Michael on some people so constructs. Uh, and soft yeah. And, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your questions. Thanks. Uh, I'll ask a quick question myself. Can you uh, briefly speak about the pseudo Anasov application? I, uh, Yes. Uh, so pseudo Arnstoff is a uh, it's a generalization of Arnstoff flow, and the, it's a kind of so. Oh uh, yes. Uh, this is a the pseudo Arnstoff is a, like this. It's a so it's a unstable. Uh, so uh, it's a you know point that. Arnoldsoft flow is a pseudo Arnoldsoft. It's a very so it's simple one. For instance, oh oops, sorry. Uh, for instance, you have the toral map to one one. So is it it's act on the torus. So this is a so uh one of the typical hyperbolic so 
uh, dynamics. It's a Suzuki's Anof is, is a so typical hyperbolic dynamics. It's a uh, yes, it's a so for instance, this orange one is a so so ex, expanding to blue one is a uh, repairing. So it's a it's a generalization of the expanding map and the so repairing map. Uh, are you clear? Uh, I, I'm not sure. So, so Pseudo Danso is a yeah, kind of generalization of hyperbolic so dynamics. So, yeah, that's clear actually. That so the, the follow up question was um, mm -hmm. in, in the study of some, in, in some, some of the study of Pseudo Danso maps, so there is this combinatorial object, this uh, like a train tracks. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is the abstract orbit space mm -hmm. finer than that? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it can find yes. yes uh, sorry, so I, I misunderstood your question. Sorry. To... Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yes. Uh, for instance, uh, so so if so for, for instance, answer of case. So it can capture the inf infinite height of structure. So, so similarly, so if we have uh, some finite height structure of the pseudo down so, and yes, yes, and yes, maybe, yeah, so at least, so we can capture so several, so hierarchy of the, so spiraling of the structure. So thank you for your question here. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Thank you very much.